All right, this is a pretty funny looking problem. Our function itself has an integral in it, which we'll have to take care of in a minute. But ultimately, we want the arc length of some function from x equals 1 to x equals 4. And since this is y defined as a function of x, we need to use this version of the arc length formula. And we're just going to integrate from 1 to 4. Now, here is the function that we're trying to find the length of. If we want to do that, we need to find dy dx, which means finding the derivative of this integral. And hopefully you'll recall way back in calculus 1, there was this fundamental theorem of calculus part one. And the fundamental theorem of calculus part one basically just says that derivatives and integrals are inverse operations of each other. They can cancel each other out in a sense. If you want a little bit more information about that, you can go back to some of my previous videos. But for this particular problem, all we have to know is that the derivative and this integral basically cancel. And we can take this upper limit of integration, this x, and plug it in for t into the integrand. And that will give us the derivative of this integral. Now, taking this dy dx, that we found and plugging it into this formula for the arc length is going to give us an integral. Let's see what it looks like. Well, when we plug that dy dx into our formula for our arc length, it looks pretty convenient to me. The reason it's convenient is because this square root and this square cancel each other out. Even more convenient is the fact that the one and the minus one cancel, leaving us with an integral from one to four, the square root of x cubed, which can be written more simply as the integral from one to four of x to the three halves power. Integrating that means raising our power by one. That would give us x to the five halves. We need to divide by that five halves, or in other words, multiply by two fifths. And we need to evaluate this from one to four. Plugging in our upper and lower limits of integration gives us this right here, and I think that we can simplify this. Four to the five halves power. Well, the two in the denominator means that we can take a square root of four, giving us two. Then we can raise that two to the fifth power, giving us 32. One to the five halves is just one. That gives us two times 31 over five, which is 62 fifths. And that looks like it's gonna be the final answer to me. Great, I like that one. I'll zoom out on it so you can see the whole thing. And I hope to see you again for the next video.